When I say all in, I mean literally all in. Every bit of energy, all of my gems, all of my resources are going straight right here, all in. What's up guys, MTG Jedi here. Man, that was a lot of energy for not having finished my first cup of coffee yet. Uh, but I, I mean it. I literally mean it. Uh, first of all, we are going to definitely max out this left-hand side, get these resources over here, and this legendary book, okay? I'm very committed to that. Um, some of these people have a, a lead already, but, like, that's not ridiculous. And hopefully, I'll end up with at least one of the top spots. Like, if I could get even second or third place, even... Any of these places would be helpful to progress the account, but once I get to 1100, then we'll reassess, okay? It's a four-day tournament for the archer that starts today, and yes, if you can get her, you should get her, because she is that good. I do have her on my main account, she's in one of my main Hydra teams, and she's ridiculous. I'm also randomly blessed enough to have a six-star soul for her. Um, I know that that seems insane, but it was just super lucky, okay? It's not like I wailed out or anything. I just was super lucky. So, anyway, on the free-to-play account here, what have I done and what can you do? Um, you and me, we can all prepare for these types of tournaments. Like, for example... I got the really first reward in the Polarium Play points from just, like, being logged in on the PC. And, like, maybe... I don't even think it's possible to get to the gems. Like, ever. <laughs> like, as a free-to-play player. But maybe I'm wrong. Um, but I have that energy, so we're going to use that today. Um, there's a couple other things like that in the game that I'm going to collect... And we are going to use all of our potential resources, all of the gems that I have saved if necessary, okay? But before this happens, you can see that I'm saving my mystery shards as well. And you guys said to me, you can't keep mystery shards. Well, this is a free-to-play account. I've been using a lot of mystery shards. I'm sure that I will in this champion training tournament, but I still have 600 in and something as a level 51 player already, okay? And that's because every time I log in, I come in here, I look, I see, I buy, and then I run actual campaign, okay? Me, I've been running 4-4. I've been really trying to get a copy of this Spirit Hostie, okay? Uh, mostly for my faction war teams, but, you know, just in general. And Gnarlhorn, or Greybeard, I mean, I need as well. For my skinwalkers teams so let me just show you what is possible okay so if we come over here to upgrade rank you can see that i have done some work preparing here i have a bunch of champions that are ready to rank up and i think i have some more in the vault as well i Need to give a shout out to my dude, Lou Gate, because he said, no, don't level up Taragi, level up Duck. And the reason why is because he has his masteries, okay? Now, they're not completely done, but they're almost done. And I farmed enough that we can put War Master on him, and that's going to have an immediate impact in my clan boss team. Did I get an amulet yet? No, I did not. Okay, cool. But he will also be able to get a banner, which I have ready for him. Either the defense one or the accuracy one. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to start with the defense one. And in addition to this, we have an artifact enhancement event going on as well. So, good hit there. I will be trying to max that out as well along the way. I'm going to get a lot of uh, silver, hopefully, from running all this campaign. And hopefully I can max this Artifact Enhancement event out as well. We're going to get a little bit of energy in there and a little bit more resources, okay? So, with all of these things to rank up here, you also need to be patient, okay? Because all of your champions 
need to have levels on them before you rank them up. I don't know about two stars, but I might, okay? I might sacrifice the one stars, um, level them up, blah, 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 um, just so that we can get as many points as possible. I saved all of my brews for uh, since the last champion training, which is uh, not that long ago. What if we have a couple day break? So, so you see what I'm saying though? All of my resources are being saved for this. And if you have been playing this game for a while, you should have more resources than this. You should have more champions ready to be leveled up than this. And uh, Tyraku's a great example, man. He will just, oh man, he will save up. He will stockpile those food resources so that he can go in and drop 30 or 50,000 points today on the first day. So I'm sure he'll be making a video on that if he doesn't have the Archer. So go check out his channel on that. It's pretty remarkable how many points he's able to stockpile. So I'm going to take my champions and level them up and see what we can do on day one here. And then I'm going to come back and we'll go over a couple more things on the account and see where we stand after all of this. Okay, so this is a good reminder for me to put in here. One of the things that you need to remember when you're prepping food like this is that you always need more, the most, of the smallest increments. Like, how do I say that better? Like, you are you need more two stars than three stars. You need more three stars than four stars. And you need more four stars than five stars. Like, it's a pyramid, okay? So, I did not do a good job making enough two stars, which... If you had to have a problem, that's a pretty good one because those are pretty easy to come by, right? So I'm going to go level up a bunch of two stars so that I can level up my three stars and then put those into my four stars, etc. We're at like, you know, 1200 points or something because I hit that roadblock. Um, but I, my goal is to get to duck in this video here. Um, and then, did I save some Bruce for him? Just a little bit, so that we can see what his uh, clan boss scores are like uh, right now before reset here. Um, let's take a look on Brutal. Shout out to Oath of the Jedi. We have about 11 million per key when it runs well. And then Hard is obviously an easy one key. Okay, that's not an issue. But Brutal... I, number one, I would like more damage for more consistency. Um, and number two, I think that I can start hitting Nightmare pretty soon. And that's where we're going to get the actual good rewards. As you know, um, we're going to be able to get all of these potential rewards. Ultra Nightmare, I'm not sure if I have the champions to even remotely do Ultra Nightmare. But, uh... With Nightmare, though, it's possible. Like, Ultra Nightmare, it's possible. Maybe we could 4-key. But either way, we're going to level up Duck and see what we can optimize here. Uh, I think with Duck, I might be able to take Coffin Smasher out of the team eventually as well. Because he just does the same thing, right? He has uh, decrease attack, decrease defense for three turns. So if I just speed tune him so that he's not the stun target, I mean, the stun target um, is not going to be able to have that decrease attack debuff on. So if I just one-to-one -one him, I I think we could just use him instead. Now, uh, granted, that HP burn is giving us some extra damage for Rathalos, but we have other options for that as well, and I'm excited to look into those. So I'm going to go level up some, well, I'll just finish this first. And then I'm going to level up some two stars and then we'll wrap up the video here. Let me know if you're going in for this and why and how. Um, are you doing anything different than what I would be doing? Um, please let me know. Because I'm genuinely curious. Like, if if I can mention, an, you know, an additional way to help people, I'm always down for that. 
So hopefully we can get some rares to help us as well. I am making pretty good pra uh pretty good practice, uh pretty good progress in faction wars and that's been great for resources and enjoyment and all of the things in the game. It's been really fun. So I'm going to go run this and then we'll come back and wrap up the video. All right, grinding complete. Hopefully I didn't botch all of the uh, video here, accidentally leaving it run for too long, but uh, let's go ahead and wrap it up and then I will collect my thoughts in the editing process. So we have my duck here. He's going to duck and cover. We're going to ascend him, maybe. Oh, geez. Apparently not. <laughs> um, That will be something that I have to work on. I did not consider that. Like, should I be going, like, that would be an awful lot. 23. That would be 460, 230, yeah, whatever. And then do that. And then do that. And then do all of this. All right, now I can go ahead and put the banner on him. That will be great. He's a defense-based champion. And I can pick the Warmaster Mastery. I think I will also do Master Hexer. Um, if I run the rest of his Masteries there. And then we need to grab our tournament reward here. And do our clan boss. And see how impactful that is with him at like level 27. All right, we're coming for you, my dude. We're coming for you. This is a grind. I'm in for it. So let's come over here to the clan boss and collect our rewards. And then I need to uh, figure out what happened with this video. Okay, nothing in particular there. Brutal top chest as well. Let's go. Ancient shard, come on. And let's see. Oh, hey, that's not bad for a five star. It's not the best, but it's not bad. All right, so we want to come in here on Brutal. Here's the team that we're running, and hopefully that's going to go well. Okay, weird. Kale died a little bit early in that fight, um, but we still hit our minimum that I was looking for, which is going to be that 12. And so I think that this is good progress here. Um, I'm going to keep working on this. And obviously leveling up Duck is going to help as well. But maybe I need to make Kale more defensive. So that's something that I'm going to think about here. And uh, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. And hopefully after all this is said and done, I'm going to be able to roll this clip and uh, end the next video where we are the winners. So let's get it. Oh,